Hi, welcome to our core user group 2022 in ISPU, Finland. My name is Vinit Metange and I am the product owner of Share Data Layer. Today, I am going to demonstrate Share Data Layer 5G UDR, UDSF service based interface. Also, I will demonstrate different storage replication policies for different latency use cases. To put this demonstration into context, let me give you a brief overview of the SDL. As you must be aware that Nokia is the market leader in subscriber data management solution with one NDS. The Nokia shared data layer is the evolution in subscriber data management towards cloud native and 5G. The Nokia shared data layer is built on the rich heritage and experience in delivering highly robust and scalable subscriber data management solution. The Nokia SDL provides a distributed subscriber and session data store on cloud. It offers single point of provisioning with telco grade performance for network application. The Nokia SDL uses in-memory key document data store, which is optimized for very high transactional throughput and low latency. It is highly scalable with distributed index layer and designated storage layer. It supports multi-master replication model, which provides higher throughput. It provides higher throughput and less overhead management. It pro also provides various replication policies suitable for different WAN latency use cases. In 5G deployments, SDM is a critical component of core network because it manages all the subscriber data for all the technologies, from 2G to 5G, and also including IMS and the IoT. Shared data layer serves as the unified data repository and unstructured data storage function, as standard of, standardized by the 3GPP, which serves several network applications, including SDM and the other 5G network function. Today's demo focuses on demonstrating SDL 5G NUDR and NUDSS service-based interface for storing and retrieving of structured data such as subscriber, policy, application, and exposure data, and unstructured data, such as session, state, context, and application data. Also, we will showcase different storage replication policies for different WAN latency use cases. Now, let's see it in action. First use case is to show storage and retrieval of PCS session management policy structured data using 5G and UDR SBI. We have, as you see, we have the 5G architecture depicted in the left half of the screen. The UE, DN, and G node B are shown for the visualization of end-to-end -end 5G architecture. The 5G cover network functions are simulated for today's demo using NGS TTP to client. And bottom half of the screen, we have the shared data layer. SDL access layer having NUDR and NUDSF interface uh, connected to 5G core network functions via SBI bus. Storage layer for the storage of the data, both structure and unstructure as UDR, UDR and UDSF. I will first store the data in the database using patch request via NUDR and then we will retrieve the same using the gate request. Okay, so I'll run the patch request using 5G UDR request. So patch request is coming from PCF going to the access layer via NUDR interface. Request is forwarded to storage layer and then it does the replication to the other replicas and the response comes back and the, finally the response is sent back to the client. And the request is successfully completed with 14 milliseconds response time. And uh, this was the 5G resource which we have modified. It's the SM data resource of PCF and this was our data input payload which we have added through this patch request. Now we will do is to run the get request to retrieve the same data which we have added recently. So get request comes from PCF goes to NUDR interface and the get request will be served by the local database itself, local site database and the response will be sent immediately to the client. And uh, even the response time will be sm smaller because of uh, uh, processing at the local site. So re get request is completed in eight milliseconds mm -hmm. and the get payload, I uh, will be showing you that uh, we are querying the entire SM policy data and uh, entire, this was the resource which we have just now added 
uh, into the database, UM data resource. So we were successfully able to retrieve those resources. Okay, so moving to the next use case, I will be storing the uh, unstructured data using the UDR interface of the NUDSF, 5G UDR interface within the NUDSF. So I'll run the put request first to store the data, and then we will retrieve via get request. Put request comes from AMF, storing for the session management data. It goes to access layer, storage layer, and then replication happens. Response comes back, and then we send back the response. So underlying layer and the flow does not change, be it a structured data or unstructured data. Underlying processing remains the same. Uh, for unstructured data, this was the record which we have added into the system. And this was the payload, uh, which we have added as part of that request. You see, the, we have added the block uh, storage using the um, unstructured data storage, and which request completed in 15 milliseconds. Now I'll just query that same request using the get request. And the get payload will be served by the local site and the response will be immediately sent for the GET request. Yeah, so GET request is completed in five milliseconds, and this is the response from the GET request, so we'll be successfully able to retrieve that. So, um, yeah, so we have SDL, Centralized Common Data Storage, for both structured and unstructured data. Uh, using that, we can make the entire 5G network core as a stateless network functions. Now, moving to our next set of use cases for SDL replication policies. SDL is designed to provide a guaranteed data consistency across geographically located data centers or replicas. To achieve that guaranteed consistency, it provides the default sync replication policy across the replica set, which provides strong guarantee of data consistency across the locality with global commit. It makes sure data is ordered and updated on all the replicas before the successful response is sent back to the applications. So I will show, show you the sync replication policy. I have just set the sync replication policy here, and I will be running the update request, and you will see that how the sync replication flow works. So I run the patch request. The request comes to the local uh, site via an UDR interface, and the, once it is to local storage, it will replicate to other replica and they will respond back. And once the response is issued, the global commit happens, and then the response is sent back to the applications. So that's how it makes sure that the data is updated to all the sites before the response is sent, and we can achieve the guarantees consistency. So with, uh, with sync replication policy, uh, if, even if a subsequent request comes to the Bangalore site, you can still get the same data across the distributed replicas because uh, it, it, it makes sure that data is updated everywhere. For example, HSS traffic involves sequence of operations where a latter operation relies on the results of the earlier operations. But with different of storage requirements coming from the operators where data centers are located far away from each other and can have a higher WAN latencies, up to 250 milliseconds between the replicas. In such environment, with sync replication, responses can be slower due to the latency involved in the network. For example, if I add now 100 millisecond latency between the two replicas, I have added the 100 millisecond latency, and if I run the same request again, you will see that the responses will become slower with the existing sync replication policy. So request will come, uh, will be sent to the storage layer, and that will be routed to another replica. But for this uh, replication, this, this latency will come into picture. See, as you can see, the response time has now increased to 112 milliseconds, which as compared to before it was 14 to 15 milliseconds, now it has increased to 112 milliseconds because of the latency playing the role. But, but with UDSF applications, uh, we have the requirement of low latency responses. Even though their latency in the network is higher, we have to provide the responses quite faster. 
to support such requirement, SDL have come up with the new async replication policy, which focuses on the low latency responses with eventual consistency. With async replication, client response is sent immediately by the mastering node after local data commit. With, uh, with this site-wise latency do not come into picture. However, replication carries same as sync replication in parallel. Now I will set the async replication policy here and run the same request to showcase the benefits of this policy. I will run the patch request. You see the request is coming to the access layer via NVDR interface. It sends to the storage layer. Now the mastering node will immediately update the local database and immediately send back the response to the client. And then it will carry on the replication as usual like before. So there is no change to the replication flow. But if you notice here, now the response time has significantly uh, reduced from 112 milliseconds to only 6 milliseconds. So this, uh, with this poly replication policy, you can achieve the faster uh, responses. So uh, by doing this, even in higher latency environment, we can achieve low latency response times with async replication. SDL supports more flexible deployment options, supporting wide, ra wide range of geographies and application types. UDSF use cases are suitable for async replication. Sync and async replication policies can coexist, which means operator can choose the specific policy applica per application based on the requirement and the use case. So to conclude the uh, demo, as we have seen, we were able to successfully store and retrieve structured as well as unstructured data with centralized SDL and achieve the data consistency and low latency responses with uh, SDL replication policies in high WAN latency environments. So make your 5G core network function stateless, dataless, scalable, highly available, robust, and efficient with Nokia SDL. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your, your attention.